solving linear systems by elimination. So in uh, my previous videos, if you're looking for, uh, I've got a video on uh, solving linear systems by uh, substitution and solving by graphing. And I also have um, solving linear systems, the options. Right. So now here we're going to look at solving linear systems by elimination. And again, linear systems meaning straight line. And when we're solving, we're really trying to find the x and y. And if we've got, when we talk about linear systems, it means we're looking at two or more um, straight lines that will hopefully cross one another or be perpendicular to one another or in fact be the exact same line. Now, substitution method works well when at least one variable in both equations has a coefficient of one or negative one. What does that really mean? It just means here if we have uh, something like x plus 2y equals 7, we are not going to try to isolate for y because there is a number that is in front of y. We are going to want to isolate for x. So when we have a variable that is by itself as such, just x, right, no number in front of it, that is what we would try to, to substitute. And we would really want to use substitution method. But sometimes, you, you know, you might be asked um, to solve by elimination, right? But again, if you've got a variable that is by itself like this as x, uh, substitution is your best method. Now, let's look at what does elimination mean. So we're going to ask, we're asked to find, to solve by elimination, and what it means, again, as we said, solve. And as we've said before, look for equal signs, look for variables, x's and y's as we have um, in this variable. So what does this mean, really, um, solving by elimination? Well, first thing you want to look for are your variables, your x's and your y's. What you're looking for is, do both either, the, or do the x's match, right? And we're talk when we talk about matching, not just the x matching, but the very the the uh, coefficient that is or the number that is in front of x. And here in front of x we've got three. In front of uh, x we've got five. But if we look at this one right here, in front of y, we have two. In front of this y, we have a negative two. Okay. So in fact, we really have the same number. And the fact that one is positive, one is negative, is really what you need to be careful with. So what I have here is, I've got plus 2y, and I've got a negative 2y, right? So this is what is the common thing. And that's what we're going to try to eliminate. We're going to try to eliminate y because both the numbers that are in front of y are in fact exactly the same. Now, what this means, what have I just re rewritten here? I've got plus 2y and a negative y and I put this square um, around it, right? Or in between it. What this means is I have to figure out, am I gonna add these two or am I gonna subtract these two? So really what we're looking at is, what am I gonna do? Because I wanna eliminate my y's. Right? So to eliminate my y's, right, because they both have the same whole number, right, uh, except one is a positive, the other one's a negative, what sign will allow me to eliminate them? So will it be positive 2y plus negative 2y or positive 2y minus a negative 2y? Now be careful of this. If we have here this negative here and this negative here, when we multiply two negatives, you multiply two negatives together, it becomes positive. Or sorry, uh, when we have a negative and a negative together, it becomes positive. So in fact, we're going to be really adding these two, right? So these two are not going to eliminate to zero, right? When we eliminate, we want them, oops, we want them to eliminate to a number of zero. But this, we are not going to subtract it. In fact, we are going to add it. So we're going to put a plus sign here. So this plus minus just means that we're going to have plus 2y minus 2y. And this will equal 0. So what I'm going to do is with equation number 1 and equation number 2, I am going to add them. 
So adding them is gonna eliminate my y's. And all I'm gonna be left with for my first equation right, is as follows. 3x equals 19, 5x equals five. So again, adding these two is what's gonna allow me to eliminate my y's, but it doesn't end there. Again, what I'm doing to this, I need to do to these and to these. So I have to add this uh, 3y and 5x. So when I add those two together, I'm gonna get 8x. And again, what I'm gonna do on one side, I'm gonna add this term with that term and 19 plus five is gonna equal 24. And just like we've done before, let me make that four look more like a four. So again, as we said before, when we're trying to isolate for the variable, the uh, number that is in front of X, we're gonna divide by that number that is in front of X. But again, what we do to this side, we must do to this side. So 8x over 8x, these two are gonna divide out and all I'm left with is x. And over on this side, 24 divided by eight is uh, gonna give me x equals three. So now we've done elimination. And the thing with elimination is tactically when we do elimination, we eliminate first and then we really substitute second. And so what we're gonna do is we are gonna substitute this x plus three into, let me uh, get the eraser out, into any one of these equations. So I'm gonna substitute x equals three into any one of these equations. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rewrite um, one of these equations and let me uh, do this here. We're gonna do three x, we're gonna do equation one. So three x plus two y equals 19. We are substituting x equals three into x. So as we said, we put brackets around the variable only. So now instead of writing x, we're gonna write three and we are gonna write the number three in the place of x. Plus two y equals 19. So 3 times 3, 9 plus 2y equals 19. We want to isolate 4 for 2y, so we're left with 2y equals 19, right? We want to keep 2y, we don't want the 9, we keep the equal, we keep the 19 here, so all we want to do is move the 19 over. So when it's positive 9 here, it becomes negative 9 when we move it across the equal sign. So what we're left with, and let me lower this a little bit, we are left with 2y equals 10. So we want to divide both, we want to isolate for y, so we're going to divide this by 2, divide this also by 2, 2, the 2's divide out, and we're left with y is equal to so in other words, now the point of intersection for this linear system is really at 3 comma 5. So that is the, uh, the point in which this linear system will cross one another. So they will cross at 3 comma 5. But now the question says then to check. So I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff. And what is the check mean here. Let's erase some of this old stuff. Keep what we just did. So what does it mean? It just means that we are going to take any one of these equations, either equation number one or equation number two. It doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll take equation two this time. So we have 5x minus 2y equal 5. So again, we're substituting into both letters, right? Because here, this three is X, this five is Y. So we're left with five. And what's X equal to? Well, X is equal to three minus 
two brackets and instead of y we are putting in five and we're finishing up writing out that equation. So all we did was rewrite the equation, but instead of the letters X and Y, we're putting in the values of these X and Y. So five times three, right? We're gonna multiply those and we get 15. We've got negative two multiplied by five, which will give me negative 10 equals five. So when we're checking, we are trying to prove that the left side is gonna equal to the right side. 15 minus 10 equals 5. Right side is equal to 5. So yes, in fact, this does prove it because the left side is equal to the right side.